just had some uh, breaking news that according to Felix Baumgartner's uh, mission spokeswoman, he did break the sound barrier during his jump from the edge of space. Uh, however, that has not been confirmed officially yet, uh, and the spokeswoman continued that he did not set did not set a new record for the longest free fall, however. Uh, so that, according to his spokeswoman, uh, that has been uh, unveiled in the last few minutes. But joining us is our science correspondent, Palav Ghosh, again. Palav, we were watching this uh, earlier, weren't we, just uh, half an hour or so ago. Amazing pictures. Amazing. And, and an amazing achievement. Uh, we saw uh, the, the counter on Felix's instrument saying that he travelled at 725 miles an hour. So that is beating the speed of sound, and then some. That is his own instrument, so you do need to be independently checked. It looks like he smashed the speed of sound as, as he fell. You also might have noticed that Felix was spinning a little bit early on. Uh, that was one of the things that uh, we were concerned about, uh, that if he started spinning out of control at that speed, it could kill him. Uh, luckily, he seems to have stabilised, but all didn't go completely right because he pulled his chute earlier than uh, we might have anticipated. There were conversations between Sir Kittinger, uh, who was uh, the Cat Department Mission Control, and Felix. Felix didn't seem completely happy, so he pulled his chute uh, one minute earlier than he should have. But the good news is that he's safe and sound, back on Earth, much to the relief of his mum and mm. the rest of his family who saw those pictures. There were leaves of proud woman. He has broken the main record, it seems, of being the highest... Uh, balloon, uh, falling further than anyone, and probably breaking the speed of sound. An incredible achievement, whichever way you look at it. Now, the uh, spokeswoman, his spokeswoman has continued that she has put it at 706 miles an hour, that free fall speed, which is 1,137 kilometers an hour. Uh, four minutes and 19 seconds of free fall from an altitude of 128,097 feet. Um, and what was amazing was the moment he touched down, we've just seen the last few uh, moments of that uh, journey down, as it were, was that uh, he was incredibly lucid the moment he touched down. It was just like he jumped out of an aeroplane at a few hundred feet. I'd love to have heard what he said. Uh, here we see him gliding his way to the, the landing site. He's obviously got his uh, composure back. He knows exactly what he's doing here. It's not trivial what he's doing. He's steering the parachute to land in precisely the right place. We saw a, a, rep a helicopter retrieve the helicopter uh, following him so it could get in as soon as he landed. And uh, the moment, and this was the moment that we thought that everything was fine because all the dangerous things had happened. Uh, people had been known to um, you know, injure themselves while parachuting, but considering everything else that went before, this is the moment. He touches down. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> Jubilation, as you would expect, yes. All right, Pat, thank you. There. Thank you very much indeed. As you were saying earlier, the, uh, the capsule is recyclable, so in theory he could do it again. Uh, and we've just heard that there will be a press uh, conference very shortly, so uh, we'll be keeping an eye on that.